12th of July, Kulyuzuk, Kaflavik. Another wonderful day in Kulyuzuk, but still poor in Iceland. Two civilian aircraft with call signs Nord Air and Iceberg came in from Iceland with day trippers and reported an improvement in conditions and after a further weather check it was decided to launch. Bill and Tony flew the longest sea crossing of the expedition, 384 nautical miles across cold, cold sea. Icebergs and pack ice were soon left behind and from our cruising level of 5,500 feet, we watched the cloud cover gradually increase to full cover. The GPS again performed faultlessly, and the Islander had no problems crossing directly overhead the chipmunks as it overtook atop this inhospitable ocean. As they approached Reykjavik on their return from Kuljuzuk, Nordair and Iceberg pilots gave weather reports which were far from wonderful, but with military radar available at Keflavik, an approach should be okay. Descent towards the airfield through layers of cloud gave a fleeting glimpse of the airfield from 5 mile range and after dodging around the odd patch of Velostratus, the 4 hour flight over water ended safely on the huge Kaflavik runway. The base is a combined civil military airfield with the United States Navy sharing with national and international companies. On this eastwards travel, we had again lost time, and it was 20-20 hours local time before we landed, and 22-30 hours before we were installed in the American Military Bachelor Officers' Quarters, BOQ. Fortunately, American fast food culture had migrated to Kaflavik, and as the mess kitchen was closed, we were able to enjoy a selection of enormous pizzas delivered to the aircrew room and bar, which was established in one of the barrack blocks. The United States Naval Air Crew, operating the P-3 Orion aircraft, made us very welcome there, and forced the odd beer upon us in exchange for the story of our experiences thus far. The Met officer was not confident of favourable conditions tomorrow over the North Atlantic, but tomorrow is another day.